We're back out here on Rancho Del Rio, and honestly, this is probably my favorite map of all time, still to this day. But anyways, we're out here, and I spotted a really nice whitetail buck, and I really would like to try and get him with the recurve bow. We've had a pretty nice buck out here feeding lately, right next to this bow. But the only problem is, is that there's actually no place to set up a tree stand here. However, what if we lay down in that boat? Well, we're gonna try it. We're gonna go over there, we'll lay down prone, and then once we hear the deer coming in, we'll crouch up, and our goal is to actually take him from right out of that boat. All right, guys, here we go. We're just arriving at the boat right now. Now we're gonna sneak over here and get into the boat quietly and cautiously. Now, I'm pretty sure these deer should be coming from over there. I think they bed in that thick brush there, and they basically work their way around this lake and then come in kind of right through this trail right here underneath this tree. So they should cross past right about there and about eight yards away. Now, we just gotta get into the boat. All right, we're in. And now we're gonna take a seat right here and wait for this buck to come in. All right, I'm gonna try and keep a straight face here and take this seriously because <laughs> this is so funny. But yeah, we're going to be hunting from a boat. Oh my God, you guys, here they come. Oh my God, here they come. We've been sitting here for about 25 minutes now. And we just got eyes on our first deer coming in. It's a doe. She's less than 20 yards out from us. But we're laying prone on this seat cushion right here. Now, the wind is not very good, but all we gotta do is wait for that big buck to step out. Come on, where is he at? Where is he at? Oh, there he is. Oh my God, guys, he's 20 yards out. He's 20 yards out. All he's gotta do is step out into the open and we'll have a shot. And he's gonna stop right in that brush oh, there he is that's a shot smoked him yes we got him we just took down a nice white tail buck from inside of a boat we did it oh that was so cool i can't explain to you guys how that felt there so basically i was recording for the last 30 minutes and I had my headphones on. I was trying to do, do everything I could to distract myself from sitting here waiting for these deer to come in. And all of a sudden I hear footsteps. And I knew I was already recording. So at that point, all we had to do is get ready and make it happen. That buck stepped out, stopped right behind that tree. His head was right behind that. And his vitals were right there. <laughs> Held it right above the heart, let one fly. And take a look at that. Look at the broadhead sticking out of that thing. What a beautiful whitetail buck down right there. Now, he's not a giant, but he's a good 160 plus, And he's got a lot of mass. So he is a great, great buck to take down out of the boat. Let's go over there and go pick him up. <laughs> Took him at 20 yards out. All right, guys, here he is. Let's take a look at him. Got a left lung, liver, and stomach shot at 17 yards. He's going to score 173. So the shot was just like this. And we pretty much centered him perfectly. Wow. Almost double lung and liver. Now, you got to remember that tree was right here, right? So, yeah, we really didn't have much to work with. If we hit too close to that tree, you guys know what happens. The arrow sticks to the side of the tree and we don't get a buck but we made it happen and we definitely smoked this buck all right yeah i mean that's a great great buck there a buck like this that walks past you like nine times out of ten there's no way you're gonna pass up this buck you know what i mean like you're talking a two and a half year old but he does have incredible genetics so if you're on private land you might pass him up but then again it's a sweet looking buck so you probably wouldn't pass him up. All right, guys. Well, we got him. Now, let me show you how our setup was there. So, oh, we got more deer, more deer, more deer. 
Another buck over there. Not a very big one. In fact, it's a super, super tiny buck. But where there's one buck, there definitely could be more. So let's see if we can. Oh my god, there's a buck. There's a good buck. Big buck. Big buck. <laughs> Alright, we're getting back into the boat. This time, we're going to have to call these bucks into range. That is a beautiful 190 plus whitetail buck over there, guys. Oh my god, I'm so pumped right now. This is awesome. All right, so I kind of feel like we should maybe call first and then try and get into the boat because uh, ideally I'd like to have him come over here to this opposite side. You know what I mean? That way he crosses and doesn't stop or hold up before he gets to us. Let's put out a call and kind of see what happens here. Oh. oh my God, they're coming. They're already coming in, guys. All right, we got to get in. We got to get in. Okay. Now... One quick jump. Prom, 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 prom. Okay, we're in. We are in, and there's motion over there as well. But here comes our big white tail. Look at this. Here he comes. He's going to be following this doe here. She's going to loop all the way around, and she should cross right into range. This is awesome. All right, one thing about this is... If we go to that side of the boat, then we're probably not going to be able to see as good. But this side of the boat here, once they come around this point, they're going to be right on top of us. So I feel like we'll probably just hang tight right here and wait for him to step into range. But there's our buck right there. He's about 100 yards out. All right, we're going to have to put up another call. Well, guys, we got him out there at about 80 yards. I don't know if he's going to get any closer. I would love for him to get closer, but I really don't know if he's going to. Now, we do have the Hawkage bow loaded with the 420s, so we could potentially use that, and we just might. <sighs> it's so tempting. It is so tempting. Tell you what, we're going to call a couple more times, and I'm actually going to try and slide over this way. That way, if we call, then they might think that we're on this side of the lake instead of the side that they're on. Actually, it's about 80 yards. We can take that shot. I'm comfortable at taking an 80-yard shot. Okay, he's coming in. He's coming in. Oh, my God. We were just about to take the shot, and all of a sudden, he starts coming closer. Now, we want him to come as close as he possibly will. All right, and at this point, he is not coming any closer. Still at 80 yards. We're going to draw back, get lined up on him. And smoke one! We dropped him right on the spot, 80 yards, held it right above the heart, and let one fly. And he's down. Big buck from a boat right there. Just took him at 80 yards. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, it would have been super sweet if he came into range um, for a shot with a recurve bow, but you know what? We're still in the boat, and we still took him down with the bow, so that was pretty awesome. All right, guys, let's get over there and go get our big buck. Let's go take a look at him, guys. Here he is. Ooh, what a beautiful shot. Look at where that arrow landed, right between the crease of the armpit there and the chest. What a nice buck, and what an epic moment that was right there. Take a look at that. There's our boat that we took the shot from right there. 76 yards out, and our big buck lays right here. Let's take an awesome picture. Because that, stop... that shot right there doesn't happen every day. That was pretty sweet. All right, let's pick him up. It's going to be a 187, and we pulled off a 78-yard perfect double lung shot. I'm talking that shot was absolutely cash money, right on the money, right behind the front shoulder and smoked double lung 187. What a beautiful whitetail buck to take down out of a boat with the Hawk Edge bow and the new camel wrap. Man, such a sweet looking buck. I absolutely love this rack here. This rack is actually the same exact rack that we did get on our big rare piebald whitetail, which is super, super sweet. I like it a lot. I honestly like this rack just as good, if not even better, than some of the big rack gold bucks. Oh my god. We just got back over to take a look at this boat here, and I was going to take a picture for the thumbnail, and... 
Holy, look at all those deer. There's got to be six bucks out there, including a really nice 180 plus right there. There's another good buck back there I can't spot, and another good one. 160 plus. And a giant. Oh my god, 350 yards out. And here's the boat right here. We're getting back into the boat. And I don't think we're going to be able to call these bucks in. Not only that, the wind is blowing right directly towards them. But that is lined up absolutely beautifully for a 360 yard plus shot right there. So let's back up here and get up on the seat and go for a 360 yard shot. This is going to be epic. He's perfectly broadside right there. Okay, I don't really like the looks of that because it says 1.48 yards and I'm pretty sure it's because we're, cr we're prone. So it's not going to let us take that shot. We don't really need to prone. 360 is, I mean, yeah, it'd be nice if we could just take the shot normally and not have to crouch, but can I try it here? Oh, let's try it here. All right, so that'll actually work. There we go. So here we can lay prone on the edge of the boat and we'll go for the shot here at about 360 yards. You know, I am so tempted to wait just a little bit longer for the wind to change and then try and attempt to call this buck in. Right now he's here. You'd he have to come all the way to here, loop around, and then come all the way to here and loop around. But it could be possible. Well, as much as I would have liked to take down that big buck out of the boat, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's gonna be happening because he is way the heck out here, 250 yards out, and we are at least 200 yards away from our boat. So if we could get to the boat, that'd be kind of a miracle. All right, so our boat is here and the whitetail are here. That would put him at 400 yards and there's no way, okay. You know what? We're gonna get set up. We're gonna try and sneak up forward right now and tuck into this brush here and wait for the shot. As you can tell clearly, I have no clue what I'm saying right now because I'm getting super excited and this big buck is headed this direction. All right, so we just saw him. Oh my God, there he is. Here he comes. We got to make a move. We got to make a move. He's going to come right past us here. Probably about like 35 yards out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, he's going to come right past here. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, you guys look at the rack on that thing. He's coming right past. Perfect. We got to keep an eye on him. Okay, that's actually a different herd. Keep an eye on him. Where is he going to come from? There he is. There he is. Ooh, ooh, he's a little far out. We got to try and call and get his attention. That's way too far for a recurve shot. I don't even know if we can take that shot with a bow, to be honest. He's already way back there. What a smart big old buck. We're just going to smoke him with the AR-308 right here. We tried so hard to get that buck with the recurve. And honestly, I don't even think we could have made that shot with the compound bow. But I'm glad we got him finally. He's big. He's real big. Let's go over there and go take a look at him, guys. All right, here he lays. Should be a 220 plus whitetail buck. He's got an awesome rack on him and some really, really impressive mass. It's going to be a 208 goal. We pulled off a double lung shot at 92 yards out. So borderline bull range, borderline. Still smoked him though with AR 308. And what a sweet rack at that so what you guys don't know about this buck is i tried to get him three different times to come into the boat ended up spooking him then i ended up trying to run at him and chase the whole herd past the boat so then we could get them as they were coming back past but that didn't work either so then finally we just decided to get him out in the open and took the shot and we got ourselves a beautiful white tail buck down because of it but that was pretty cool taking down two really nice white tail bucks out of the boat with the bow so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.